getting your own back. Just keep thinking about that woman on the dock in Port Fitzroy. Oh, choose a cleat and tie it off. That one will do. There you go. We have this every single time we come to somewhere. If there's more than one cleat, there's the indecision. Don't give me a decision to make. Done, burgers? Done. Marvellous. A gun shopping lake. These oh. lovely ladies have just helped us out. Smile, ladies. <laughs> We're abusing their visitor dog. <laughs> back on the boat. Got a bit of current see up the back. Here. You can see how she's her poor old sob pulling out there. A bit of current running through here. All good. We'll hike him up now. He did good. Yep. What's for dinner? Pizza. Is it a homemade pizza? Uh, the base isn't, but everything else is. I know. Made with love. Fantastic. Yes. Are you excited? I know you're excited. It is. It's a cheese, mushroom, onion and... Uh, just in case... Tomato sausage. Just in case anyone thinks that like that's the only pizza. No, there's another one here. And there's another one. And there's one. another base ready behind it. Oh yeah, don't worry. This is my husband we're talking about. You don't go short on pizza. The last time we had pizza, salt. he had twelve slices and I had three, I think. So yeah. I lost count at the two. Can't count any higher than that, can you? Sound engineer. Pardon? Pardon? You've got to lift something. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing a little bit of a rescue mission. We what? get all these sleepy little bees. So we put a tiny bit of uh, sugar syrup and we're feeding him up, giving him some energy. Bless him. And he's already looking a little bit better. He was really sleepy and horrible now. He's all over it now. He's jacked up on sugar. Check us out. We're going out. You smell lovely. Thank you. I've yeah, got this on. Look, look. Yeah, looking good. Real good. Been a while since I've had a bit of lippy on. We're going to pub. It's Good Friday. We are going to Grace O'Malley's. Hmm, guess what kind of pub that is. Uh, <laughs> they may have Guinness. <laughs> so that we treat ourselves. So off out for a beer. Shall we go sexy? Vamonos. Muchachos. Onwards. <laughs> well, like we said, we went all the way to Grace O'Malley's to get a beer. Look at that little sad face there. Oh no, no Never guess. mind. We but could, I think the score is it's it's the bank, it's Good Friday. So licensing laws, obviously you've got to eat with booze, but you had to buy a full meal. You couldn't even have a bowl of chips. And yeah. the vegan offering was vegetable kebabs and couscous or something equally unexciting. Yeah, we can cook better than that. Exactly, so that's what we're doing. We are, we're doing a, uh, mm. just a tapas stuff, hummus, aubergine dip. Um, artichokes, vine leaves, bread, We've got some tomato, roasted red peppers, basil, rocket, beer. But the, most importantly, the beer. The beer. And a great view, sunset and, yeah. and company. We've got a better view anyway. I want to sit in the pub floor or we can sit on the back deck and look at that between the washing lines. So yes, all in all, happy Good Friday everybody. Turned out for the best. Saturday morning, just got rid of all the rubbish and the recycling bins, just come to report into the marina office. They like to know that you're leaving your dinghy on the dock, yes. so if anything happens to it, they can give you a call. But that's unattended, so we're having to ring the after hours number. Quite the market. Chandlery, and now we're going into Hammer Hardware. The fun never stops. It's called that curry place, and it does um, Indian street food 
and it smells absolutely delicious. What have we just done, Rob? We've just done Sean T's Insanity Cardio Abs. And pure cardio. And pure cardio. 45 minutes of just How do you feel? Cardio. I feel really good, actually. Do you? I feel broken. A little bit broken. <laughs> Spot of lunch. There's nothing like being near the shops. Fresh stuff. We've got rocket. We've got tomatoes. We've got some vegan smoked cheese. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And some homemade pesto. We've obviously got to balance the uh, fresh, um, fresh good stuff with deep fried good oh, yeah. stuff. Oh yeah, so. it's not deep fried, it's just it's fried. bread soaked in oil <laughs> and fried, yeah. Because <laughs> it's healthy and then you need fats with the healthy stuff, yeah? You do. Is that not how it works? You can have too much of a good thing, right? <laughs> Easter Sunday, subs in the water, we're gonna go and get some Fuel. Water to save making any in this. Mmm, don't want to make water from that. No. Um, and some petrol in the petrol station. And we're on slack tide at the moment. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? Look at it. Oh, jet skis. Let's go and play with the jet skis. Yay. Yay. Scourge of the earth. Just left Rob. Just getting us some petrol. Saying a lot of the fuel ducks just carry diesel, so we've walked to the petrol station. Mission, mission accomplished, just got to put it on the trolley. Yep. Wasn't far to walk either, was it? What, like three or four minutes from the marina, That's which that, is yeah. jolly handy. 30 litres. And we are Sam's car. Sorry. <coughs> So it's our last day in Fitianga. We've been here for a few days uh, and um, had an awesome time on the mooring ball here in the, in the mooring fields. Uh, it's made it really easy to keep the boat. Um, so thank you, Women That Sail. Uh, it was a contact that Joe made. And um, yeah, we're just doing a couple of uh, errands in town. And from today, we are going to uh, spend two or three days just heading up the coast to Whangarei. We're going to tuck into uh, the Whangarei heads there and uh, just noodle around, have a little bit of an explore for a couple of days and then get ready to haul out at North Sand at the boatyard, uh, which will be a week, well, this, this coming Monday. Uh, so that's about uh, five or six days away. So yeah, a couple of uh, boat jobs and a bit of a mission this morning and then a, uh, a slow sail up the coast. Pretty good itinerary, I think. Got a nice bottle of wine here, a New Zealand Pinot Noir, that I'm going to go and leave at the marina office to say thank you to Beverly for the use, it's a very small offering, but for the use of their mooring that we've been uh, tied to for the past five, five nights out in the river. Thanks, Beverly. It was, um, it was incredibly useful. We've managed to get a lot done. It's been lovely. So yeah, I'm going to go and leave this with so we've been moored in the river and uh, it's fairly tidal so as you can see the tide is now going out. Uh, we're probably running a little bit late uh, as, is, as we normally do so uh, it's starting to run a little bit but we've had basically we made a, our own little bridle uh, and then we've got the original line that comes up uh, to the buoy. So, so that'll be the last thing we drop? Yeah so I've basically got a temporary line on here uh, and the idea is that right now we're going to, to take the tension off this under the two go. bridles yep. uh, and then we'll position this so that it's on the other side of the roller and then when you give me the signal uh, I'll let that go and then we'll drip down on the tide and then head over that way to the channel. Pretty right. much come forwards and go that way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not drifting down the, anyway. Avoid all of the boys. I'm going forwards and out that way. way. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do you want me to go so, and give you a bit of power then, darling? Uh, no, we can actually just hold it on the boat. Okay. Um, I'll just need you to do those two feeds while I right. avoid the boat up. Which so. I can't do while I'm filming, so I'll bob this down, shall I? Jolly good. Let me know what you need. Do you just want to go? Yep. I'm ready. Nice ass. Oh, sorry about that, I'll have to put the camera down. We are now heading back out, successfully off the mooring. I smell of fish. How lovely. And seaweed. And we're getting 
a nice push. I'm currently doing six knots. Thank you, Fitiana, it was lovely. just left for Tianyin. We have. Uh, there has been no wind and we just had a bit of a boat meeting on our plans because we were due to just potter up the coast a little bit. Little anchorage just around the headland here. Uh, What's the current plan? The current plan is to go back over to Great Mercury Island and back either into Para Para Bay or Huriri Bay uh, and spend the evening there because it's very pleasant over there and if we get some wind tomorrow we will then dot over to Rocky Bay which is on the very tip of the Coromandel Peninsula, still on the east coast of the peninsula side. And then Thursday we've got 15 to 20 knots forecast, hopefully from the southwest, which should give us a good nine hour run to find the road. Longer than that to find the road, isn't it? Yeah, about nine, ten hours, but it should give us some decent wind so we won't have to have the engines on. So that's the plan. from Fiji. We hope you enjoyed watching that last episode. We're having lots of fun up here in the island group of Fiji at the moment. We've been doing lots of scuba diving, lots of snorkeling and generally having an awesome time. We've got some great videos coming up for you so don't forget to click on the subscribe button to be notified of upcoming episodes and once again thank you for watching. <laughs>